Ta da! This is the final look. Looks very nice and colorful. And let's dig in. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Life with Rafia. I'm Rafia here, and today I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you all. And I was seeing a lot of posts and a lot of people wishing their fathers on this Father's Day, and I think Father's Day is being celebrated all over the world. So uh, there were just a few thoughts popping up in my mind regarding this. And first of all, I would just like to mention this fact that what a huge, huge blessing uh, fathers or both the parents are in our lives. And we realize this only and only when we ourselves become parents. And we cannot really grasp the, this whole thing, the amount of sacrifice, the amount of selflessness that is put into being a parent or a father or mother. And once you become a parent, only then you realize it. And um, so basically fathers play a huge, huge role in our lives. And they are basically a shelter, uh, a safe haven for all of us. And they protect us from so, so many uh, things that are going on around in our world and we don't even realize that. So um, sometimes we just don't realize the importance of a person in our lives when they're around us, when they're with us all the time. We're seeing them and we're just used to being them around. And we only realize their importance when they're gone, when they're no longer with us. And uh, may Allah protect all of our parents, all of our fathers, and bless them with healthy lives, happy lives. And may Allah make us uh, the coolness of their eyes. May Allah make us a blessing for them and a source of uh, reward for them in this life as well as the hereafter. So I was just uh, going through some lectures regarding this topic and a few things just clicked my mind and I thought of mentioning them. So first and foremost is that uh, ayah number 82 in Surah Al-Kahf which mentions a couple of words uh, that are Wakana abuhuma swaliha and I'm just a student <laughs> of knowledge and not a scholar or anything but these words just sort of have stuck in my mind and it is the story of Hazrat Musa and Hazrat Khizr and when they were in a town or village and the people of that town or village they were not very hospitable and Hazrat Khizr built a wall for them and Hazrat Musa couldn't quite understand why he did it because uh, it was a favor for them and when Hazrat Khizr uh, replied to him uh, he mentioned that he did that favor because um, underneath that wall there was a treasure that belonged to two orphan boys and uh, if that wall was broken down then that treasure would have revealed and the people of that village or town they would have simply gobbled up that wealth maybe and the orphans uh, wouldn't have gotten their treasure and so that's why uh, Hazrat Khizr uh, with the will of Allah um, he built that wall up so that once the boys grew up and they were young and uh, they could you know get their treasure and take care of it themselves so basically uh, the reason why he did it was that Wakana Abuhuma Swadiha that their father was a righteous man their father was a noble man so this just shows that our good deeds, uh, our piety, righteousness, it just d does not stay with us. It is going to impact other lives around us as well. It is going to impact lives, even generations uh, after us. And even when we are no longer in this world, our deeds, our actions are going to uh, impact the lives of the ones we leave behind. So basically it is a moment of uh, reflection for all of us because uh, 
you know all the fathers around us they play a huge role in a child's life and they have to understand it um a lot of them do understand it and they try but uh, unfortunately uh you know since the world is becoming so so materialistic and uh the sole purpose of a man's life is becoming uh that he has to earn money he has to uh earn money and bring food to the table and that's it they are becoming absent from the house absent from their children's lives their family members lives they they're not connecting with them anymore everybody is talking about the same thing so it's a great opportunity to actually think about these things to ponder upon these things and reflect into ourselves onto ourselves and people around us and as well as remind ourselves and others too that uh, maybe we can do some things better here and there and um um it is a great opportunity to appreciate and be grateful for other people around us but at the same time we have to think about are we on the right track because a father's role is not just earning money for the family their role is to be present you know to to be around them to have a good connection with each and every individual in the family to their teacher their role model in so many aspects of a child's life that the mother uh, cannot really cater to i mean the father is dealing with the whole world out there they are a role model uh, in terms of facing the world in terms of facing success um, in terms of facing failure uh, in dealings with people in dealings with relatives and as well as the spiritual aspect especially for boys boys uh take up so many things from their fathers and you know when you listen to people's stories around um wives complaining about their husbands and uh all the time and you know fathers not playing any role any role in bringing up of their children um uh in communicating with them in knowing what their children are going through and their wives are going through how their lives actually are in having a good strong relationship and uh, you know taking advice from each other giving each other suggestion and not just you know uh, pointing fingers and being uh, a robot in the house uh, that just uh, goes out for work and comes back home and sits in front of the television all day long and then goes to sleep without uh, listening to stories without uh, talking about their own life uh, you know teaching their children life lessons ah <sighs> so i mean uh, it's just for the fathers to be the young fathers the new fathers i mean you have to you know make an effort to build a good family and you have an equal part an equal role in bringing up of children in uh, making a, a house uh, an actual home a family and um, where everybody feels heard and where everybody is satisfied um, uh, emotionally as well So in today's salad I'm going to put this lovely crunchy crispy yellow bell pepper some tomatoes this lovely pear the sweet leaf salad uh it includes iceberg carrot and purple cabbage some cucumber some kiwi cheese as well as my chickpeas and this is going to be my dressing for today balsamic vinegar sesame oil maple syrup salt and pepper Ta-da. So this right here is my balsamic vinegar, about a tablespoon and a half, a little bit of sesame oil. Again, about a one and a half tablespoon. I'm just doing it um without any measurements. A tablespoon of maple syrup, a bit of salt, and a bit of pepper I'm going to pop in next. 
So here I have added in everything related to the dressing, salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix it up. And in go my chickpeas. So give it a good mix. And here are my lovely vegetables. And for the crispy part today, I'm gonna use these. Uh, these are sesame and rye crisp bread that I got this week. And I'm gonna try these. It is going to be a sesame balsamic salad because I've used sesame oil and I'm gonna use the sesame crisp bread as well. And some cheese on top. Mm, sounds great. Ta-da! This is the final look. Looks very nice and colorful. And let's dig in. Hmm. Interesting. I love the crunch and the bell pepper. Hmm. It's adding so much freshness. And one last thing is that it is so important uh, to realize this fact that it is not just earning money. Your good deeds are actually going to affect your children. If um, you know, uh, you're not going to stay in this world forever, you are going to meet your Lord one day and you are not the sole protector of your children. Allah is going to look after them. It's important that you look at how much uh, you know you are doing in terms of your righteousness. Are you a noble person? Are you a noble father whose children are going to be looked after by Allah when you are no longer in this world?